That's lit, Val just said. You amazing. <laughs> Let's go, Fresh J. You amazing. You amazing. God. Jesus. You amazing. You amazing. You amazing, God. Come on, everybody, Jesus. sing with us. Come on. You are so amazing. You are so amazing. You are amazing, God. Now I'm praying, fervently seeking guidance and wisdom from the Holy Spirit In terms of endearment without you removing and fear And I see it like You're amazing, Lord Y'all sing the song tonight That saves a wretch like me Come on, y'all Amazing grace Y'all lift your voice tonight Yeah With my slopings intense and aggressive, you can't caress me. You're faithful to the end, so I'm looking to your favor, not approval of men. Whenever all the lips empty, alone in darkness and tempted. In the silence, you sent an angel, silence the tempter. In the blindness, it left me. Now I'm seeing your face, and I'm living in faith, truly feeling your grace. It's amazing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. So amazing. Yeah. Like me. Come on, everybody, lift up your voice and just sing it tonight. Come on. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. Let's go, Jay. Come on. Put them hands up. Hey, this one's for everybody who got a dream up there. Calvin Christian Collegiate is located on Treaty 1 land, where we drink Treaty 3 water. In naming these treaties, we seek reconciling relationships and respect for covenants that were formed between indigenous and settler peoples. May we learn and grow together. And glue glitter on that Just 12 years old I already had a dream I would dance to the world Hear my screams You know what I mean? Yeah, that was 84 When I fell in love with hip hop Fast forward 10 more years And I was Yeah, a young fly Light skinned brother With cherry curls Fresh she had a knack For the raps And all the girls I had dreams That one day I would be at the Thanks to April CJ Angie Ray and Granny Just some strong black women Who raised me from my teens And most of all I thank the Lord For my Dreams to yeah. Yo, for those who wait Says you gotta have some faith Well, you gotta have some faith No, you do Hey, dreams to come true Yo, for those who wait Says you gotta have some faith Well, you gotta have some faith No, you do Hey, this next song here is for everybody from the 
from the old school who love that Motown sound. This song is called Kit Kat. And when you're going through hard times, just know that God's love is like a Kit Kat. And you need a break, man. Come on, bring that beat in, man. Come on, y'all. Hey, hey. Y'all ready? Come on. My love is like a Kit Kat. Today's chapel is going to be a little different. Last week, I interviewed Fresh IE, a local Winnipeg Christian music artist and Grammy nominee, and he recorded some songs for us over the weekend to show in our chapel today. This video will take most of today's SLG time, so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy hearing some of Fresh's stories and some of his music. Let's start with the interview. Well, Fresh, it's great to be here. It's great to be in your place. Um, yeah. And it's really welcome. good to hang out with you. Um, so let's just start off with a little bit of your history here. You've been part of the Canadian music scene, the Christian music scene here for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, we can tell us a little bit about your how you came up, what are the how you started, what's your influences and inspirations for your oh, music? Yeah, man, I came up, uh, I got saved in 1998, so... Uh, like like you said, I've been in, in in the Christian scene for quite some time, but uh, I, it wasn't my plan to actually be a Christian artist or any to be involved in in, in hip hop or making music. Uh, because when I got saved, I was just like it was such a such a drastic change for my life, you know. Because I you know coming up, growing up in in a dysfunctional family and you know just a rough childhood, and then uh, you know making all the mistakes I did as a young person, you know. You know, caught up in everything you can think of, drugs and alcohol and you know, addictions and just all the things that you grow up, you know, that you that you go through growing up, you know, uh, with a rough childhood. Right. Yeah. And so uh, when I got saved, I was on my way back from a liquor store and I was drinking my life away pretty much. Mm. And uh, 
on the way back from that liquor store, there was this blind man on Main Street in the middle of the road and no one was helping him. And he didn't have a walking stick or nothing like that. And so uh, I remember just seeing him and I just like, hey man, get off the street, you're gonna get hit by a car, you're gonna die. And so that blind man, he, he turned around and he heard my voice, so he started walking as I was talking to him and following my voice. And then uh, he, he finally got close to me and I sent him into the projects and, I, and then I went home. And then I, I was just like, you know, thinking to myself, like, man, I don't wanna, I don't wanna end up like this, man. Like with no one to guide him, he's by himself. You know what I mean? Just alone and, and he's blind. And so I started to really evaluate myself to a point where I was starting to feel sorry for myself pretty much. But like for 30 minutes straight, I was thinking about just the mistakes I've made, the people I've hurt, you know what I mean? My mother, my father, and just everything that I went through as a young person and how do I, how, how I wanted change so bad, but I just didn't know how to, how to, how to find change, like how to find true change, you know what I'm saying? Transformation. Yeah. And so I remember sitting there in my window and as I was sitting there, like looking back on my life, um, I noticed uh, three people outside, uh, no, four people. It was four people outside my window with flashlights. So I looked up my window and I was like, what are you guys doing down there? And they said they were neighborhood watch. And actually those people was, there was a native person, a black person, a Chinese person and a white person in the worst neighborhood in Winnipeg okay. Okay. on a Saturday night. You know what I mean? So I was like, what are you guys doing out there, you know? And they said they were neighborhood watch, that they were watching a man on my step. Hmm. So I actually went downstairs and I opened my door and there was that blind man sleeping on my step now. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I ran upstairs and, you know, I cried out to God. I was like, God, is that you? You're trying to give me a sign? Like, because I was already seek, I was already like trying to hear from God and I was already like, you know, asking God to help me, but I just didn't know how to hear from God. I didn't know how to hear God's voice, you know? And so I spent, after seeing that blind man, I started talking more to God, reading the word, couldn't drink, couldn't, just pacing back and forth and, you know, talking to God, like, you know, God, like, if you're real, I need to know now because I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I, I don't want to go to prison. I don't want to, you know what I mean? I want to change, you know? And so after about a week or so talking to God and, and this invisible God that everyone's saying to me, that you know he's he's gonna he's gonna speak to you he's gonna he's gonna do all this stuff and I was just like what if this is all this a lie and I'm talking to myself you know like then I'm going crazy because I'm talking to myself in my little place here and there's no there's no God you know what I'm saying and then after about a week or so I remember I was on my futon and I started reading and then I started really really thinking about that blind man and I was just like I just started crying out to God again and then I heard God speak for the first time in my life. And that's when God said, that blind man is you, walking blind. And if you don't turn away from the streets, you're going to die in the streets. And that's when I knelt down in that futon and I, I said, okay, God, I don't know how to stop drinking and doing all these things and hurting people. And I don't know how to stop. I give it to you and I, and I ask you to help me because I can't do it. And I gave my heart. That's when I really gave my heart to Jesus. So, uh, yeah, man, God just did a, a work in my heart. And... Uh, you know, my life changed from there. And then uh, like five years from that moment, I was on the red carpet at the Grammy Awards making Canadian history, right? Yep. And and that was just like mind blowing to me because I wasn't looking for any of that. I was just wanting to give back to my community, wanting to reach out to young people who went through the same thing I went through, knowing now that there is a God and that you can be transformed, like your heart can be shifted and he can give you a heart of flesh and and bring transformation to your life. This song is called First Time. Come on. Hey, bring that beat in. Come on. Hey. Hey. I finally get it. I, I finally get it. This life I'm living, I find my purpose, I'ma get it For the first time, I understand my purpose I've been searching steady, working for the youth I know the ledge, I got the juice You can make it through your circumstance The circle stands, the worship stands, the merch, the plans The work, the plans, out the dirt and stand Man, I finally got some clarity I finally understand what you said, Lord I can't sleep yeah. hey. no. So much going on Too much going Inside on. of my head, my head. Yeah. But this is me, Lord For the first time, come on, hands up. Much 
Since in my past, now I'm smashing them. Mapping out the plan to reach the masses, got a passion, so I'm mapping out a masterpiece. Maculately rap about the master's piece. For the first time, I'm actually living life now, finally I can see. Learning how to smile through the negativity. No more sleepless nights now, I can close my eyes. For the first time, I really feel alive. I can see. Come on. Hey. So take a moment and breathe Never give up, you were meant to be free After a dark night, there comes a bright day You can restart now, there's always a way I should have been dead, I got another chance I'm lifting my head, I'm learning how to dance Cause life is too short to be blind all the time I open my eyes for the first time Come on! To you in your life, let's put them ones up in the sky right now. If you can testify that God blessed your life, that God made Himself real to you. Come on. For the first time. For the first time. Yeah. Make some noise out there. You started with that kind of idea of this is for the kids, this is for the yeah. community. Um, but then as it started picking up speed and as you're starting to get asked to do things, um, mm -hmm. where did you reach back into or what was the kind of thing that helped you define your style or your your yeah. your movement forward? Well, I mean, um, my favorite artist of all time, you know, is probably Tupac. He had a true message for you know, like, you know, keep your head up was towards black women. You know, and then, you know, like, you know, different songs like Dear Mama, where he was like, he was honoring his mother, even though she was a crackhead, you know? So it was just like seeing this other side, like with, with Pac that really like, man, like, like that just, Pac really grabbed, like I could just, I can just relate to Tupac a lot. So mm -hmm. he was definitely my favorite artist growing up. Um, but then when I got saved, uh, I wanted to step away from hip hop, period, and, you know, and, and uh I actually remember just throwing away all my secular music one day and just putting it all in a garbage bag and taking it across the city and, and throwing it in the garbage and, you know, rebuking the devil. And it's like, you know what? I don't want none of this in my life anymore. So I just cleaned myself up, spent a whole year away from hip hop. You know what I mean? And so the reason why I actually got back into music was because when I first got saved, I remember I would like, cause I was used to like the way I grew up, I didn't grow up in church. so. Uh, I'm not used to going to youth groups and, and you know, conferences and all those things that, that that I've seen throughout the years. So when I first got saved, I'll go to youth groups and they'd be like playing all these like cheesy little games and like da da da. And I was just like, man, Lord, we got to do something. Because like, I'm, I'm just going through withdrawals because I was used to drinking and fighting and smoking. So we're at these youth groups and we're doing all these games and icebreakers and stuff. And I'm like sitting there like, what in the world? So I remember just feeling fidgety because, uh, you know, I didn't know what to do with myself. Right. Because I didn't have, you yeah. know, so I was like, okay, Lord, if you'll teach me how to make music, I'll use it for your glory. I'll use it for your kingdom. And then, like, I remember, like, a couple of weeks after praying, my grandmother, uh, God rest her soul, my grandmother said, I'm sending you some money. I want you to do something with your music because I've always been involved in music in my life. So I was like, are you serious? I was like, Grant, you don't understand. Like, God has been, like, God is in my life now. And, and, you know, I've been praying. And she's like, oh, that's good. So she actually sent me this money. I went and took that money. And I bought myself this Roland 808 beat machine. Had no idea. I had no music theory. All I knew what was in my heart. And I would get these dreams. And I'd wake up. And I'd go looking for those sounds for my dreams. 
and I like I would just press these buttons and all these different sounds, and I and I would start making music just from hearing in my head what I heard and just finding it on those keys. That's so. And that's cool. how I started making music, man. Yeah. And then wow. boom, it just just the songs just kept coming and coming and coming, and uh, yeah, I just started making music from there. You know, the Bible says there's no other name, there's no other word that can explain who God is. The only word that can explain who God is, is holy. So it goes like this, it says, I can see the lightning, I can feel the thunder, and I can hear the voices proceeding from the throne. Say it one more time, I can see the lightning, I can feel the thunder, and I can hear the voices proceeding from the throne. If you catch that, just sing along with us while you're watching. I can see the lightning, and I can feel the thunder, and I can hear the voices, I can hear the voices proceeding from the throne. I can hear the see the lightning, I can see the lightning, and I can hear the thunder, and I can hear the voices, I can hear the voices proceeding from the throne. Share the scope. Seven lamps were burning, all the wheels were turning Creation groans for the sons of God to manifest its journey We stuck in all these sermons, stuck in all these noises We need solitude to listen, we busy making isms We need you, have a father, our daughter needs a daddy She thinks a man is a gangster in the trap, watching a caddy Busting in their chariots, her sons in search of power But no one's gonna give it, so they take it by the hour we're called to worship, heavy tribe and nation We hung upon religion, forgot about relation Worshiping creation, instead of the creator Romans 1 and 25, we're in desperate need of a savior Desperate need of the truth, cause all we do is lie And all we do is lie, in the bed that's in the skies And I can hear the cries, from the heart of the people But from the heart of the throne, race of bounds and all of this evil Come on. Hey. And I can hear the voices, I can hear the voices proceeding from the throne. Hey, I can see the lightning, I can feel the thunder, and I can hear the voices proceeding from the throne. Listen, see, there's a man in the seat. There's a king in the throne Worthy to open the scrolls and bring us home Who's worthy to do it? Cause earth looks hopeless Reproach from the curse of the law It feels hopeless Approaching the throne But I'm searching my heart And the crevice of my soul Cause I wrestle with control Seven horns and seven eyes Upon the earth revitalized Heaven will repopulate Bride and groom to A picture or relation Of reconciliation No we waiting we we help and those that need a reformation Instruments of worship Everything that breathes I look into the spirit Seen the trees singing from its leaves Like blessing and honor and glory Power belongs to the one on the throne And to the Lamb, yes, forever We waiting and praying for you to take us home I can see the lightning I can feel the thunder Hear the voices proceeding from the throne. Come on, see, I can see the lightning. I can feel the thunder. I can hear the voices proceeding from the throne. There is-
chimed in tonight if you've been going through a hardship in your life if you're going through sickness through covid hardships marriage finances sickness in your body maybe you just need salvation to visit you tonight i ask you tonight to say this prayer with me in faith just say jesus i've made a lot of mistakes in my life but tonight god i ask you to forgive me of your sin my sin i believe you died on the cross for me tonight and that you rose again and that you're alive tonight and I ask you to make yourself real to me reveal yourself to me Lord today I confess you as my Lord and my Savior in Jesus name amen if you said that prayer tonight this is the story of the son in faith let God reveal himself to you it's not a magical prayer it's a prayer of faith as you pursue God, you realize He's been pursuing you your whole life. Oh, death, where's your sting? Oh, death, where is your sting? Cause I'll be there. Cause I'll be singing there holy. Singing holy. Come on, everybody in the room, sing. Holy. Everybody out there, sing. Holy. Although we lost in the snare, you renew me And you prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies Rubber from a birth load, you knew me And you healed me, shielded and sealed me Quarter from darkness, adorned from the heart of a king Torn a walk for a bride that would cling to the whole rugged Spotless, learning how to rest on the rock Just yearning to be stretched, I'm a blessed man walking Turning from the depth to the darkness Every single step now I'm marching Pressing for the mark of the prize I call waiting for the heart of the bride Skyfall, climbing to my king on a scaffold And all the angels singing and also Creation waits for the true bride It trembles and quakes for the new time And the voice of the bride can call for a feast for the lamb All in due time The righteous deeds of the saints Just a bride in the linen of the purest faith yeah. A beautiful picture to paint, ain't it? This is the story Sing of the child of but it ends with a bride and a groom. But it ends hey. with a bride and in a wedding. And one day we will sing, Oh death, where is your sting? Come on, sing it. Oh death, where is your sting? Cause I'll be there. Cause I'll be there singing. Pursuit of my life in despite is a righteous Made in your image and your likeness I'm fading and moving in brightness Jaded in you and my life, yes I want to be a light in the brightest form But my nature was lazy and lightless The truth is I perfect and righteous And him I'm my conqueror purchased by Christ The last thing lost in my lust and the curse of the law Means I represent lost in the rut My only hope is Jesus The door to the kingdom is Jesus The more that we cling to the shores of the shallow The more we alive we need you Climbing to my king on the scaffold and all the angels singing and also And all the earth waits for arrival The score to the sound sang in revival Creation waits on the true bride It trembles and quakes for the new time And the voice of the bride can call This is the story of the son of God Hanging on the cross for me But it ends with a bride and a groom But it ends with a bride and groom And a wedding by the glass you see The glass you see Come on, y'all Holy is the Lord God Almighty, 
everybody. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Keep singing. Holy is the Lord. Come on, Jake. Sing. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. mentioned like places like Winkler and I've read you know about Lac Devani and about yeah. all these places that you've been it's not everywhere. just it's not just Winnipeg like you've been everywhere everywhere and and what you um, are known for um, is also like mentoring young musical talent and yeah and reaching out and giving back to communities and building community right Can you yeah. talk a little bit about um, your involvement in that what does that yeah mean? well that that's something that that I've always I think that came from like even before I got saved, me me feeling like I've always wanted just to have a family. You know, like I remember my favorite show on TV was Cosby Show because I got a chance to see a black family, normal, like having dinner at six at the table, everyone's there, you know, just the normal things. And I was like, okay, this is a normal family, not knowing that actually it wasn't a normal family. Right. It's like there is no normal family, right? right? But like it was just that I was like, oh wow. So I remember feeling as a kid or as a teenager, you know, like I wish I had a family like like other families, you know, uh, because I didn't really have a point of reference, right? And um, so as I got, as I got older, you know, when I started getting into ministry and stuff, I really wanted to just reach out to young people who were going through the same thing I was, and, and start mentoring them and teaching them. So. You know what I mean? I, like, I would like have two kids from the hood come with me on the road and I would teach them about different things as I was out traveling, they would come with me. So I'd have two young people like that, would, that is getting ready to go into a gang and they would uh, you know, come and help me like run my merch and I would give them my trust. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Actually, I got a crazy story about that because one of the guys was a hardcore gang member in Winnipeg and um, I remember, I remember having five thousand dollar cash, and I put it in his hands. I said, "I want you to watch that for me," knowing that he was hardcore, but I know that he was hungry for God, and that he was like, he wanted to come with me so bad because like, I need to get away from the city, I need change in my life, and I just want to come with you and help you do whatever you want, and I'll, whatever you need me to do, I'll help you. So he came in the row with me, and he traveled with me for like three or four years, and like God just grabbed a hold of this guy, man. And I'm telling you, like. You want to see somebody who could have been one of the worst of the worst became like just this man of God. Mm. And now he's married. He has a new child. He's, he's, he's in hardcore in the church in Montreal. They moved there. And uh, he's, he traveled with me for years, man. You know, mm. the other artists like Scribe Music and, and um, Tyrell. And, and there's a bunch of artists who are doing things, have their own ministries now, who come up under me and travel with me across the country, we've been to three, 400 reserves, Arctic Circle, Ice Roads, Mennonite communities, you know what I mean? Like we did the prison systems in, in Toronto and in Calgary Max and Drumheller, Stony Mountain, all these different places. Um, just going in and bringing hope to those, uh, you know, like bringing the message of the gospel that, you know what I'm saying, that, that God is alive and he's real. 
and and uh, and it's and it's and it's not about religion. It's about having a relationship with Him, walking with God. That's what the disciples did. They just walked with Jesus, and they and and they saw how He lived. They saw, I mean, they heard Him fart. They heard Him eat and and talk normal as a man. But then they also seen Him as God. Right. Walk on water and and heal the sick and and so they they saw the different aspects of His ministry that changed their life. Yeah. Not just from, you know going and, and listening to the Torah be read in the synagogue, but just by walking with him to the trees over there, or over by the hills and seeing the multitudes. And they watched him and their lives were transformed from yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So these young men would just travel and follow me. That's why Paul said, follow me as I follow him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and as I follow him, and now that's a big responsibility because if, if you make a mistake, that could affect who's following you. But we all make mistakes. Yeah. So those are the important parts of mentoring because mentoring simply is men touring each other's lives. And so I, I don't want it just them to see the good things and me on the mountaintop and me Grammy awards and, and doing big concerts and all this stuff. I want them to see me struggling with mental health or my marriage failing, or I want them to see all those aspects so that they can learn how to overcome it, or maybe they don't have to go through that because I went through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. That's that's real mentoring. It's mm -hmm. it's letting them see every aspect of who you are, and sometimes being vulnerable uh, to say, you know what, like I don't have it all together, and that's why we need Jesus. Yo. Yeah. And if you are if you are going through stuff like that, where you feel like the darkness is pursuing you, I want you to know that Jesus is the healer tonight. Let's go. Come on. Hey. That there's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. But in the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. Yeah. I steam by your works, redeemed from the curse. I'm healed by your stripes and wielded in faith. I'm wielding a sword that's sealed in faith. When I'm needing a healing, I'm seeking your face. You help the blind man see. Raise us from the dust of the earth, from the lust of the curse. I'm in search of true worship. I see that I am a king, and the kingdom's in me. So I'm singing, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus healer. healer, be lifted up, Lord. Be lifted up, be lifted up Lord. Be lifted up. Your kingdom come, Your kingdom come and you will be done. Lift your hands up So I'm standing in faith Stand in your name, Lord I stand on the chain Before man I proclaim You're my righteousness Life in this fiery flame You're the healer, redeemer The life in the way The truth in the lies The joy in the pain You're the anchor that holds us When storms come away You heal cancers and tumors The sick and the lame Restore marriages Lord, so we lift in your name Jesus, Jesus, hey, Jesus, hey, Jesus, hey, be lifted up, Lord. Be lifted up, be lifted up Lord. Be lifted up. Your kingdom come, your kingdom come and you will be done, be done forever. forever. Hey, be lifted up, Lord. Be lifted up hey, today. And by your strength, and by your strength, and words, we
talk about music a little bit, mm-hmm. right? You've uh, you've released a new song and you're poised to release a new album later on this year. Can you talk a little bit about that? Maybe about your <clears throat> um, the inspiration for that album and for uh, this song? Since 2015, I've, I haven't really been doing much right. in terms of yeah. like ministry and traveling. I've been readjusting my life because I went through a divorce, you know, and, uh, you know, like I had a, a long 17 year marriage. And so coming out of, of, of out of that is really hard to to readjust and to plant your feet, you know, on, on the rock and, and find the right people in your life to, you know, to help to to bring you to a place that you need to be to move forward, you know. And so. Um, so I took like a long like a long sabbatical where, um, you know, I just really was trying to find a a place of healing so I can find healing within myself, you know? And so this whole album is inspired by, it's called The Wind and the Waves. That's the single that's out on the radio right now. Uh, But the whole album is called The Wind and the Waves as well. And it's it's really about, you know, like when the Bible says that when when Jesus told the disciples to get into the boat, you know, that they're gonna go, we're gonna go to the other side, you know? And when God calls us to get into the boat, you know, sometimes we get in that boat and that boat becomes a comfort zone for us. And we get in that boat and in the process of going to the other side, it says that the Bible says that the winds became boisterous. You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and they started when you when you study that, it's actually like a hurricane, really. And so, and you know, and, and, and um, the disciples became afraid. Right. And they went and got Jesus and he. And he sort of rebuked them, you know? Yep. And he was like, where's your faith, you know? And I got it. Jesus rebuked the wind and the waves, you know, and they became calm, you know? And the thing is, in the, in the process of us going to where God's called us to be, or the promise that he's called us to, that there, there can be some storms, and there will be storms that we're going to go through. And But no matter how much the storms come, and the thing is that when the storms come, sometimes we forget what God has promised us. We forget what God's called us to or, you know, what, what God spoke to us in our life. Like, it's like it's hard to it's hard to praise God or or to remember what God's given us when we're in a storm. And and so um, no matter what happens in that process, if God said we're going to get there, we'll get there. No matter what happens, hurricanes, doesn't matter because that's his word and his word doesn't return void. Yeah. So this whole album is just about us not being conformed to being in the boat or being in our ministry or being in our in, in the place of comfort where we feel secure. So, Sometimes God will call us out of the boat like he did to Peter. And Peter wanted to walk in the water. And he said, come unto me. Yeah. We got to step out and walk on the water. Mm-hmm. You know, And then even in the middle of those storms, Peter began to sink because he was looking at the storms and he forgot about God. He took his eyes off the anointing and put it on the storm. So it, this is like this album is an encouragement to um, to keep our focus on God in the pandemic, keep our focus on God in our marriage problems, in in our you know our financial situations or whatever it be that we're going through as young people in your education, your relationships, and your failures. You keep your eyes on God, and no matter what happens, the promise that God has given you, you will you will get to where God wants you to be. It doesn't matter. What, the, what happens in life, what kind of sickness, what kind of God's gonna bring you through, you know what I'm saying? We got one more for you tonight. This is the brand new single called The Wind and the Waves. Yeah. You can hear it on CH Radio or any local Christian radio in Canada today. Be blessed tonight, we love y'all, man. I ain't really got all the words to say, hey. I don't really know if I know how to pray I pray I've been running on empty every day yeah, yeah. Doing everything in my own strength I need to find rest in you again Come on, y'all Entirely I depend on you, my Take away the storm inside my head Peace, be still silent oh, Told the wind, told the waves, be silent all the fear inside my head, we got it Whoa. Whether dead or alive, it's not the end Whoa. You gotta die before you can be born again So let the lightning and the thunder do their thing Whoa. Let the waters crash upon us, I'm convinced Whoa. Time for a 
Just who can ever be against So let them be silent Come on, y'all So let the lightning and the thunder do their thing Let the waters crash upon us, I'm convinced It's all for us Time for us, who could ever be against Hey, let them be silent Let them be silent Shit I am I'm on my face again Yeah, feeling like my life's at an end Yeah, to come alive, those people deep within See, I need a touch, just a hand Lord, so heal me, oh Lord, it's your son Yeah, you can get me to come all undone See, boldly I come to your throne But humbly I come to the cross Told the wind, told the waves, be silent Told the fear, sign my head, we got it Whether dead or alive, it's not the end You gotta die before you can be born again So let the lightning and the thunder do their thing Let the waters crash upon us, I'm convinced God for us, who could ever be again? So let them be silent Everybody sing, come on I told the wind, told the waves, be silent. Be silent. Told the fear, time ahead, we got it. Oh, we got it. Whether dead or alive, it's not the end. Not you gotta die before you can be born again. So let the lightning and the thunder do their thing. Let the waters crash upon the sunken face. Thanks so much. Oh for, man, it's a blessing. For talking with man. us today yeah. and for sharing your music with us today. Uh, yeah, we are. We're really thankful. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I, and I just pray that the, the youth will be encouraged, you know, to uh, continue your education, man, and keep your focus on what God's called you to be. And yeah, man, be blessed. Thank you guys for having Thanks. me. Or thanks for coming through. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.